This game is really important. The last time we beat Lamont was freshman year, uh, sophomore year, and junior year we lost. Especially last year, it really hurt because we lost overtime. Uh, that game, it, it really hurt. Uh, I didn't realize how big of a rivalry it was until I got here. And then uh, Coach Moe told us he, they haven't beat Lamont since he played his senior year. So it seems like one of those things where we just have to come out on top for the first time in a while. Last year was a tough one for me and the team. Uh, we took it like a playoff game. Uh, this year we're coming out fighting even harder. We're uh, not backing down for no one. I was just keeping these guys focused by challenging them every day and creating competition within the team. I mean, this year, uh, more than we had last year, we got a lot of guys who can do some damage for us this year and a lot of guys competing for spots. Our DVs are fast. We probably got one of the fastest DVs in, a, in, in the state. They're smart. They can, they can pick up routes. They can do it all. Our whole offense uh, got a nice running back, Marquise Irvin, receiver core, Bink, uh, Nick Lindley, uh, Andre Snell. We've been together since freshman year, and even with a new quarterback, we can easily get him into the chemistry, you know. My staff, uh, I don't want to say we have about nine, eight or nine alumni from Hillcrest High School. Uh, I got a couple guys on my staff that I played with, uh, Michael Young, uh, Ryan King on the varsity staff. I also got Herbert Offer, who's on my freshman staff, uh, Eric McCarter, uh, guys I played with. I also got some guys from the 2002 team, uh, which was pretty much started the winning of Hillcrest football because before then Hillcrest football wasn't that great. Uh, then we had a little stint where we didn't do so well, but I got some of those guys on staff, Phil Burkett, also got my older brother, Tremaine Weaver. Uh, I guess got my older cousin, Kyren Weaver, who spent 10 years at the collegiate level. Uh, so the staff is well versed uh, between young and old guys. I got Coach Hancock, who's, who's coached pretty much everybody on my staff as well. Um, and Coach Landon Maddox, who came over with us, uh, who's also our D-line coach, um, and a host of other guys. Man, he's a hard coach. He's a great coach, fantastic coach. He changes the way we approach the game. Uh, he brings a new ad a new attitude to the game. He's not like any other coach. He's just, he's a diff he's different. He, he's a great coach. Uh, he's strict on us, but at the same time, he's, he's always there. Uh, he says, if we have any problems, we can come to him with anything. So it, it's great to have a coach that's involved in everything. He's always in the school. He's always checking up on us. So it's, it's great to see him there. He's just keeping the energy up. He, he brings up the game from last year we lost and we knew how, how bad that hurt us and he's just telling us that we don't want it, want it to happen again so do anything we can to win this game on Friday. I say the biggest thing to our success is that we're all connected, we hang out with each other, we like brothers, we like family and that's, that's a huge part of our success. Our goal for this week and for the game is to start off strong. If we start off strong then we can finish strong. We always finish strong but we got to learn to start strong. I think we just got to play like we can. If we play like our team can 100% to our abilities, then we'll pull it off. Coming in, coming in. Yeah. So, so. Yeah. Drip water, I was selling seafood. Crash a coupe, so I had to recoup. Hit a dealership, said I need two. Boot it up, then I had to reboot. Said I need I
religious. I ain't got a tenant trying to let them know I'm in it. I've been out of town, but I'm still doing digits. RP my free my in the gang. I might get a caddy cause I like the way it swings. Inside peanut butter, outside plain Jane. I just boot it up and then I boot it up again. Drip water, I was selling seafood. Crash a coop, so I had to recoup. Hit a dealership, said I need two.
All right, you twos and threes, you got to be locked in. My pocket in the back. All right? Pay attention because you never know when you're never going to get caught. You just never know. You never know. It's football. Injuries happen. It's a part of the game. All right, but you got to be ready. You next man up. Everybody got to have that mentality. My number is called. I'm going to do my job, and I'm going to help us get it done. It's got to be like that. All right? Yes, now, sir. with this win comes a target on your back. That target is even bigger. Everybody wants you now. Everybody wants you now. So that means you got to work twice as hard. Twice as hard in the building, academically, and out here on the field. You got to take care of business. One weekend, one game. That's how you take those guys down. I'm proud of y'all, man. Yeah, Let's take it. it. Here we go. Get a break. Ready? Woo! Yeah. Yeah.